Hey guys, if you're looking into a new career, XR development is probably something that you might want to be paying attention to. So in this video, I'm going to cover our roadmap on codingphase.com of XR development if you want to become an XR developer. Okay, so stay tuned. Let's get started. It's no secret, guys. XR development is here and it's here to stay. Okay, this is a great opportunity for anyone that's looking to, you know, branch off from just being a web developer or being a back-end developer, a full-stack developer, and they want to be more in a creative field, right? Of course, there's a bunch of different branches out there. You got mobile development, you have embedded apps, you have game development, of course, web development, and now you have XR development, okay? It's a real thing, <laughs> right? Now, what XR actually covers is pretty much, you know, VR, AR, and, you know, mixed reality. XR development is the knowledge of being able to work in all type of environments and creating experiences for users and brands. Now, let's talk about the bag. Let's talk about that money, right? Are there jobs? Are there opportunities for this, right? Should you even care about it? Should you even pay attention to it, right? Well, I'm going to be honest with you, right? Meta and Apple seem to think so, right? There's a lot of money in it. There's a lot of people that's going to be jumping in, you know, XR development, right? Either for the Vision Pro, for the Meta Quest, right? Think of it like this. It's like the iPhone and the Android Samsung Galaxy, right? Um, at the end of the day, these are basically marketplaces where, you know, you can go in, create your applications, sell your services, right? Or sell your experience, and you can make some money independently, right? Like this isn't something out of this world that you can definitely make some money. But let's take a look at the job market. How is the job market for uh, XR development, right? There's definitely an uptick in jobs, right? Um, I'll give you an example. Last year, I will always check to see how many jobs is out there popping up on a monthly basis. And you will see that it will pop up. Maybe the number will be like 20 24 or something like that 24 25 22 right jobs that will pop up on any given day now one thing that i notice is we're looking at 80 something plus jobs right on any given day and yes you might say well joe if we compare this to something like react development right that might be mentioned in fifteen thousand jobs right you might be right. There might be more jobs in React, but also too way more competition and way more people that's actually trying to become React developers. Okay. Now, the cool thing about XR development and just React in general is like you can actually do um, XR development with React. Okay. So you're not that far if you wanted to pivot. Uh, but the cool thing for me is the potential opportunities that you have. Okay. Um, a lot of the companies here, they start at most of these jobs anywhere from $85,000 and up, right? You might even see some jobs at 251000 at Meta, right? But how are you going to get this type of positions, right? As far as XR development and, and being able to, to work at companies like this, you're going to have to build experience. So starting at 85, right? Building yourself up during a year, two years, and then preparing yourself to then from there, start jumping into the big boys. Then, you know, that's how you actually do it, right? Um, but it's good to know, hey, they're actually willing to pay $251,000 for this type of roles, okay? So let's get into what the roadmap is. And again, you can learn all of these skills at codingphase.com or you can go in and learn it on your own wherever you prefer to learn. By the way, there is a 50% off on codingphase.com if you decide to learn with us. Okay, links is gonna be in the description. So yeah, let's get started, right? So with XR, these are the skills that I recommend for you guys to learn and in this specific order, okay? First of all, HTML, CSS. If you're doing anything on the web, you need to learn HTML, CSS. From there, you have practical JavaScript, understanding what JavaScript is, how to manipulate the DOM, ES Next, which basically understanding how to use JavaScript and all of the latest features that it has over the years from there you have react job ready which is basically understanding what react is as a front-end framework 
then from there we jump into the world of react 3 fiber and this is a way for us to actually use 3js with react and be able to build 3d environments and 3d applications fairly quickly every diamond member gets access to it uh, for free and gets early access to the course itself as we are building it and creating it for you guys by the way go check it out it's a really cool um projects that we are building here you're going to learn everything about react and 3js and how to actually build this 3d environments again give you guys like a little quick preview of what the first project is going to be we're basically going to be building a virtual online magazine where you're going to have a 3d model you're also going to have a nice presentation for this specific car model Again, this is something that you will go in and basically create for a brand. A lot of the projects that we're going to be doing inside of this React 3 Fiber course are stuff that companies will pay you for. Okay. So it's not just, hey, let's build a little website, you know, a little animation. Like that's cool and all, but that doesn't really get you paid and doesn't really show your range as a developer. For us, we're gonna go in and we're gonna learn the framework, learn what 3JS is, okay? And then from there, also create projects that you can use for your portfolio and be proud of, okay? And really impress the companies and, and people that get to see your work. From there, the next thing that we are working on is the 3D modeling tools, right? So in here, you're gonna need to learn about Blender, right? Maybe Spline, uh, maybe Unbound, right and all of the other tools that might be out there we're going to go in and create a course for you guys that is going to cover all of the main different types of you know 3d modeling tools not for you to be a 3d artist but to give you an introduction to them to be able to use them most companies are expecting that you know how to use some of these tools especially when you have to like do changes on a model you know maybe bake the lighting right exporting the files this is very similar to someone as a web developer that needs to know how to use photoshop to export their files from a design or maybe to create some changes in the design that a designer might give you so again it's very good to understand how these tools work from there we're going to jump into c sharp and understanding the fundamentals of it then we're going to jump into unity once we learn unity right which is a game engine but not just limited to the world of game development you can create experiences you can create experiences for vr ar right um again this is the official uh basically framework in a sense or you can say official game engine for the vision pro so definitely something that we're gonna be using a lot and again we're going to be having on codingphase.com uh, from there i definitely recommend for you to learn swift right get the fundamentals of swift right and knowing how to build uh, applications for the apple ecosystem and then from there jump into the world of vision pro development right so this is the order html css practical javascript es next react react 3 fiber 3d modeling tools c sharp unity swift and then vision pro development and the bonus if you want to go that deep and the bonus skill that i will say for you to learn it will be unreal engine and that will be just like the icing on the cake so again links on the description 50 percent off take advantage when you guys get a chance Again, you can learn from me or you could just use this roadmap as a way for you to learn from wherever you want to learn. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> at the end of the day, what I care is that you succeed and that you look at this opportunity and take advantage of it. All right, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Peace.